Hi, I'm Marjorie Busby and I'd like to show you how I make quick work of cutting this layered pinwheel block using my AccuQuilt Go Cutter. I initially cut strips using my two and a half inch strip cutter and I stitch them together as you can see. But rather than pressing them open, I leave them uh, still folded. Then I take my value die, which has a four and a half inch block on it, and you can see the registration marks that I always put on that die. I line up the edge of the fabric just inside the blade and my registration mark, and I accordion fold this stitch two and a half inch strip across that four and a half inch die. I then place my mat on top and run this through my AccuQuilt cutter. Now this is eight layers of fabric so it's really a little bit tough to get through and, but it works. I flip the die over and voila, I have four and a half inch squares, half light and half dark, cut from my two and a half inch strip cutter. I've just fallen in love with uh, cutting, stitching, and cutting again. Now I'm going to put my cutter aside. I have my four and a half inch squares that I've cut with my AccuQuilt Go Cutter and I always put these down exactly the same way before I cut. So I have the light on the left and I use, I, it's easy to remember to always do it the same way so that the light is on the left. The next step is that I cut the this from corner to corner, from the top left down to the bottom right. Once that's cut, I take it to the machine and I do a scant quarter inch seam. Once I get the quarter inch seam, this is what I have. I have a nice mitered square. And the end result are two sets of squares, a left hand square and a right hand square. So let me show you how I make those into blocks. I take all the left hand squares and I arrange them into a pinwheel and stitch them together. I always press everything to the dark and that way when my pinwheel is done I have my seams so that they swirl around and I don't have a thick center. I take the second set of blocks which are the other direction and I lay them out and so I have a pinwheel going in left counterclockwise and I have one going clockwise. These would probably go into two different quilts, but they're beautiful pinwheel blocks. 